pass the loop, man of God, pass, pass the loop, man of God, pass the loop, man of God, man the Bible, it is true, pass the loop, man of God. When God spoke to Adam in the garden, gave him dominion, he said to him, be fruitful, multiply, fill the earth, subdue it, and have dominion. I want you to understand, saints of God, that that same mandate, that same mandate applies to us today. And I need you to get excited about that. I need you to get excited, here it is, because our God has handpicked you to have dominion. You, you, you're not hearing what I'm saying. You, you ought to be excited because the creator of the cosmos, he has given you a blessing and watch this, have given you heavenly empowerment. And the same mandate that he spoke over Adam applies to us. Somebody say it applies to me. I need you to understand that God's foundation has not moved, but unfortunately our faith has. The same God that said, let there be, and there was. The same God that told the Red Sea, this far and no farther. <laughs> the same God that dried up the ground so that his people could cross the Red Sea and not have residue of where they've come from. The same God that told the sun to stand still until Joshua was done fighting. The same God that told Lazarus, you've been dead long enough, it's time to come forth. The same God that turned water to wine, that is the same God that has given you dominion. And you ought to be excited right there and give God a hand clap of praise even in your home. God is going to give you grace to manage your favor. Because people will celebrate your favor as long as it's just a theory. They, they, they will celebrate the favor that's on your life as long as it's just the theory. They, they don't mind, people don't mind you saying, watch this, what you fixing to do. People don't mind you talking about what you getting ready to do and I'm getting ready to lose weight. Oh, I support you, girl, in losing weight. I'm getting ready to buy a house. Oh, that's good. I'm happy for you. I'm getting ready to start a business. Oh, I'm good. But when that thing begins to happen, See, they, they don't mind it as long as it's clandestine. But when you put that blessing on full display, people begin to change. I'm, I'm trying to help you. Joseph teaches us this. Joseph teaches us that people like you until you put on your coat. They like you until you put on your coat. The issue is not really the coat. Come here, let me help you. The issue is what the coat represents. Because they don't understand, I'm preaching already, they don't understand how it is that God could bless you with it when they look better than you, they got more money than you, they have more contacts than you. How in the world did she get him? How did he get her? How did they get the business when I got more degrees? But they don't understand that when God is for me, he's more than the world against me. David teaches us, that sometimes, watch this, favor is revealed in a fight. I need you to write that down. Because sometimes Christians don't think that they're ever supposed to be in a fight. And they're crying about stuff. And God is saying, tell the people to move forward. Some of you crying about a fight that you already won. Sometimes your favor is revealed in the fight. Sometimes, whenever God is trying to show you that you have favor, hear this, Coop, he'll let you end up in a fight. You don't need favor where you are favored. <laughs> in other words, you don't need favor when you're in an environment where everybody likes you. Come here, let me talk to you. God has to put you in a place where folk don't like you, where folk are jealous, where folk are talking about you, because favor sticks out more in adverse environments. Exceptional folk can feel the ground moving beneath them. Exceptional folk don't know where their help is going to come from. Exceptional folk can, can find themselves being attacked 
on every side, but still with tears in their eyes, look toward heaven and say, I still believe God going to use me. Exceptional folk can experience loss. They can experience disappointment. They can experience sleepless nights, but they still find something on the inside of them that causes them to look toward heaven and say, though he slay me, yet will I trust him. <laughs> I'm talking about exceptional folk. Exceptional folk can come home and see the house on fire. They can see that their family has been taken hostage like David did in Ziglag. And instead of going into a state of depression, they find the face of the Lord and they ask God, shall I pursue? I need all my exceptional folk to just give God a shout right here and shout, I'm exceptional. Man of God, Pastor Luke. 